In other parts of the state, one rescue may go down as the greatest of all time. Mm -hmm. And we mean that because it involves an actual goat. Really though, Team 12 Jess Winters breaks down how rescue teams saved this animal, taking two whole days to get it out of an irrigation pipe. Jess, that is wild. Wild to say the least. Yes, it was in an irrigation pipe underground for two whole days. The rescue, the digging portion of it took six hours. Right behind me, you see this is where the dig started. I'm going to bring in the heroes that saved the day, saved this eight-month-old baby goat. Andy, Gracie, please step in to the shot here. First of all, good morning, and thank you for saving this baby goat. Good morning. <laughs> how, did it, how long did it take to rescue this goat? So we started the day before, um, and we were there for about two hours. We couldn't find the goat, so we had to pend it for the next day to come back with the snake cam. Um, and we were looking and digging for a total of about four hours before we finally got him out. Four total hours. What was that moment like when you finally saw the head emerge and you rescued that baby goat? Well, I'll tell you, one of the, my favorite parts was actually seeing him for the first time. And that was like, that was mind blowing because it took us like five hours just to see him. That's yesterday and today. And then when we finally, when we saw the, the head coming out of the hole that we had just dug, uh, every one of us flipped out. Like we were, we were all yelling, we were all excited. It was like, it, it, the feeling was incredible because there was a point to where we were wondering like, how is this going to happen? And then when it happened, it was, we couldn't believe it actually happened. We can't believe it either. And there's an unofficial hero off to the side here, and we'll get to her a little bit later on, but a neighbor did help save the day too. We're live in Phoenix, Jess Winters today in AZ. What a story, Jess.